some snowfall totals out of today's snow. How about this one for you, Wallace? 11.3 inches, even more as you make your way up into Mullen or the summit of Lookout Pass. Osborne just outside of Wallace, about 10 inches. Rockford, Washington, that's here in Spokane County, 7.5. Airway Heights, 3.4 in the South Hill, 4 inches, and that's a social media report, so you got to take some of those with a grain of salt. But as we move through the next few days and the snow moves out, the cold moves in, and it's a bitterly cold start to the week with overnight lows dropping down into the single digits and daytime highs in the 20s. Today is a taste of things to come. Right now, you saw it a little bit earlier. It is a bit blustery out there. East northeast wind at 22 miles per hour, gusting up to over 30, 22 degrees with the sun now working its way out. Yes, by the way, that is sunshine and we are going to continue to clear out. We've got that cold air funneling in and look at how much colder we are than we were this morning. If you're watching early on, we're up to 30 degrees. Now we're down to 22 and we'll continue to watch those temperatures fall from east to west. So if you're out to the west, expect that you basically hit your high temperature already. We're watching the snow taper off and taper off rather quickly. Still hanging on to some of that out in central Washington, but not near the heavy snowfall we saw earlier today here in Spokane. And as we move through the day, expect those showers to taper off as dry air filters in. In fact, we'll see a little more sunshine this afternoon, a lot more sunshine tomorrow, but by then the cold is here. All of these high temperatures you see basically are what we saw early this morning. And as we move through the rest of the day, expect your temperatures to drop. We're only going to get colder from here and then stay cold the next few days. So as the snow winds down in the mountains, expect more sunshine, but do expect it to be even colder in the mountains than it is down low. And that's enough to prompt a wind chill advisory. That wind chill advisory goes into effect a bit earlier in parts of North Idaho. But for us here in eastern Washington, it's about 9 p.m. tonight through 10 a.m. Wednesday, and that's for feels like temperatures each day or each morning feeling like they are down below zero, 10 to 15 degrees below zero at times across much of the inland northwest. Now, as we move through, here's how this one breaks down. Wind is going to gust at 30 to 45 miles per hour out of the northeast as we move through the remainder of the day. Tomorrow, that's going to be the case as well. We're just pulling in this Arctic air. That'll eventually wind down as we get into the day on Wednesday. And that says that cold air settles in place, but just know it is going to be chilly. We're talking those feels like temperatures down below zero the next couple of days here in the inland northwest. It is going to be bitterly cold. Now the snow's done, the cold's here, the wind will stick around tomorrow. Feels like temperatures below zero, daytime highs in the 20s, but feeling like they're down near the single digits. And then as we get closer to the weekend, we're looking at temperatures climbing back up near normal, and a lot of sun sticking around all week, but that sun really not going to make a difference the next couple of days.